I want, I want to start off with this video, guys. Of let me know what you think in the chat box below about this whole coronavirus thing. Like, let me really know what you think. Do you think it's all something big planned, or do you think it's real? Do you think what what's actually happened around this world is actually being is justified by what's actually going on? You know, I look at people here in like I look at here in Australia, over 25 million people. And they got 67 new cases. Ooh, 67 new cases. And this whole thing is just going absolutely completely haywire. I look at, man, this is crazy, you know, like, you know, it's not, not once have I ever really felt like this before about, about the population and the public, right? But this has gone nuts. People going bankrupt. Over this, over this stuff right now. I know a lot of people who went short the market when I told them not to, who are, who are doing really bad right now because they thought that that was crazy and you know, and they shorted the market big time, right? Especially buying short term options and all that sort of stuff. You know, I look at people like Virgin, right? Virgin here in Australia and obviously around the world. They just filed, filed for bankruptcy, you know? And and I just, wow, it's, it's such, such a thing. And, and I feel so blessed myself, you know, for me and my private clients that, you know, that, that, that our trading's doing really well and what we're doing is doing really well, you know, and it's not a, it's not a me thing, you know, you know, guys, I'm doing really well, you know, it's like, for you guys, for, you know, for you guys know, right, like, you know, I've, I've been long these markets for a month, you know what I mean, so you guys know that I'm doing well when it comes to those positions that I told you about, I just got out recently for a trade, yeah, today, actually, for a 10% return, you know, in about two days, so, for me, for me personally and my private clients, we're doing well, but, you know, it's like, this whole, and the whole 5G thing that's coming into play right now, and, and you know, it's like everything's coming, something's coming together here right now, and I just, I just, I, it's, it's, it's so, so crazy, you know what I mean, and, and, you know, I look at this whole 5G and the coronavirus, and, you know, and the, and the 5G thing, and you can see the David Icke and the real, you know, the real interview thing, and, man, something big is happening right now, and I don't know what it is, you know what I mean, like, everything's come together, we've had this blockchain that's happened in the last 10 years, that's, that's um, you know, even even Facebook took, you know, start, started its own digital currency, I think it was, I think it's Libra, I think it's what it's called. I don't know, I haven't really looked into it much, that's just what I've heard. You know, and it's just, there's so much going on right now. And I feel so bad, like, for these, like, and that's why I started off this video, like, do you think that this whole shutdown was justified by what is, what is what is real? You know what I mean? Like, what they thought was real, is it actually real? You know, and, and then you, then suddenly you've got, then you suddenly got, um, and suddenly you've got like a, you know, to China coming out and saying that the virus spreads indoors, not outdoors, you know, and then suddenly it's like, then we stop ourselves from going outdoors and all that sort of stuff. And then like, but I just, I just don't understand it where we like, we have the whole, shut this, shut this whole thing down. But then when we go to the shopping centers, right, we're, we're close to each other all the time. And it's like, I don't, I don't get that. And so like, guys, you know, and I've even, even, you know, heard some people of just losing their shirt in these markets right now, loading up big time guys, like seriously, even if I'm wrong, even if I, even if I lose a hundred percent of my position on any give one or two trade, guys, I did, I did 10% of my accounts gone. That's one thing that, that most traders don't understand is that, that, um, that most of the time when I'm trading, I'm only trading a small amount of my account, you know? And so, so therefore like, you know, like even if I'm completely dead wrong in the markets right now, at most, my account's down 20%. I still got 80% of my account there, you know what I mean? It's like, guys, be smart around the way that you're doing things right now. It's like, it's 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 so crazy to see some people, what they're doing right now and, and the way that they're approaching these markets. You know, it's like, guys, please slow down, you know? Stop trying to make money rich quick. Stop trying to get rich quick. When you ever you try to get rich quick in these markets and you force it and you try to rush it, the only one thing that's guaranteed is going to go broke quick. You know, and I just heard someone just recently saying that, you know, he's... You know, he's he's just lost his shirt on on. The, on it's, it's it's crazy. You know what I mean? I said, really, really, really is crazy. You know, and I just look at everything that's happening right now. Um, I I I don't I don't know. Like I don't, especially here in Australia, right? Like I don't see. I talk to everyone. Like I went to the doctors a while ago because I had I actually had a belly button infection of all things, right? I've never been to the doctors. I hate going to the doctors, right? I just I hate going to the doctors. I hate. I do whatever I can to stay away from the, from, from the whole medical stuff if I have to, you know what I mean? If I have to go there, I'll go there to get things checked out. Like, I think I had a blister in my belly button, whatever it was. Um, and then that's all fixed up now. It's all gone now. Um, and, uh, you know, and I went to the doctors and 
you know, it was all good, you know, and like, you know, and I, and I look at, look at, look at the cases here in Australia, and I'm like, I look at 25 million people, and we've got like, what, 10,000 cases or something, 6,000 cases or something, and, and it's like, not that many deaths and stuff like that, it's like, you know, and then you, then again, then you, then you listen to that David, David Icke interview about, you know, what's actually real in this situation of how much money they actually make if, you know, if they get ventilators or if their class is COVID-19 and stuff like that. You know, it's, and I, I don't, I don't know. There's a lot of conspiracy theories around there, guys. Something is happening. Something doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Something just doesn't make sense about this whole, this whole shutdown. And just, it just doesn't click. And, and surely you guys see that, right? I know a lot of you, um, you know, and again, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you, do you actually think that this is real? Like we should, we should have actually gone through this whole shamodule in this, in this world or, and you know, companies like Virgin, you know, like I loved flying Virgin. I absolutely loved flying Virgin, you know, going out of business, man. And, and not, and, and okay, I guess I'm just so blessed and so grateful that I can trade the markets the way that I trade the markets and guys, you know, for you guys that, you know, for you guys that, that trade the markets, guys, you, you can you can do well out of the markets, you know what I mean? Just the, the, the number one foundation to getting ahead of the markets is it doesn't matter what system you trade, is risk management. Stop trying to load the house on one position or a couple of positions trying to make the hell out of these, money, these markets because it's just not the case. You know what I mean? Like if I look at all my long-term positions, I'm long some gold miners, um, you know, like the GDX. I'm long that, I'm long silver, I'm long gold. I have been long gold for, for a month now. I'm long a couple of stocks right now, you know what I mean? Like I've been long Apple right now for about a month. You know, like I, I, I've, I've, got, I've got a good chunk of my portfolio diversified a couple, of, a couple across different things, you know what I mean? But even that, even, even when I just said all, the, all, those, all those positions I've got in the markets right now, long-term, Right there, long term. What I'm, what I mean by long term, because my my short term trading, I'm like in and out within a week. You know, like, you know, sometimes a few weeks I'm holding on to it, but most of the time, right lately, it's just been like in and out with one to five days. Like today, I got into a trade two days ago. I got out today. It wasn't a big return. It was a ten percent return. But guess what? It was a ten percent return. You know what I mean? It was a nice. It was a nice. It was a nice, nice return for, and the and the market hardly moved. You know what I mean? I, um, this particular stock hardly moved. So I feel so blessed that. Uh, but, that, but, but I feel so blessed that I can teach you guys and I can teach the people out there. Guys, the number one thing you can do is protect your capital, right? There's no guarantees in these markets. Please stop loading the house in one position, you know? Because I could be wrong, you could be wrong. There's no guarantees. And I guarantee you guys that um, that the, 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 the number one thing to you protect, the number one thing that you do in the world in the markets is you, your survival. Especially if you've only been in the markets for a few years, right? My first... Two to five years, probably four to five years, were horrible. My first two and a half, two, 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 three, two, three years, I was a quarter of a million in debt, and then I just had to start figuring my way out of this thing, and I still made a lot of mistakes and changing systems and that sort of stuff. And you know, and then now, now I've done, now I've done really well for, for, you know, for about ten years now. Yeah, actually no, it was 2008. 2008 is when I went full time. So um, uh, yeah, I, over ten years. And so, so guys, you know. I, I hope you can see that, you know, that you can do so well out of these markets. Just please stop trying to make a lot of money really, really quickly, you know, and, you know, and I tell all my clients, that you, you, I tell all my clients, just be patient, relax, you know, wait, wait, wait for, wait for these positions. My mentor always said to me when I first started trading, he goes, John, in, you know, in five years time frame, the market's going to be around. The question is, are you, um, this is not a get rich quick thing, but you can, but the, the market can deliver to you more than your financial wild dreams. And I'm speaking from experience with that. I'm so blessed, you know. You know, the amount of money that I made last year, you know, from trading the markets was my num was my m most successful year trading the markets last year. And, and and that's just compounded, right? It was better than a year before and so on and so forth. And I'm looking to have a much better year this year as well too. I'm seeing, you know, I'm seeing a couple of my private clients right now. Um, I have two, two of my private clients right now that, I'm, that are actually, that are, that are six-figure traders. I'm seeing these traders doing so well. And the number one thing we have, number one thing, guys, that, that, the thing is interesting is that I've made more money the, the more I've kept my risk low, and 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 I've done that because when I have gone through times and I'm, I'm, I I you know I screw up every now and then too right I screw up every now and then guess what you know sometimes I go through those times when I get, when when my ego gets involved and I'm just like I take these trades when I shouldn't, um, but guess what and that's what I said before even if those trades completely go belly up, you know my count's down five percent ten percent max. But, you know, it doesn't take too many, it doesn't take, and you know, if I screw up, completely screw up on a trade and my count's down 
I guarantee you with another two or three really two, two or three good trades by following the system and my accounts back up 10 15% again and before you know it before you know it I've made 30% on my account in a few months and I'm, and I'm, I'm moving again right um, it's possible for you to do that so anyway let me know what you think let me know what you think below guys I seriously seriously care about you and your family if you're looking to get involved with these markets, again, go to johnsfreegift.com. I, I give you a free trading course there, right? Just start to start to learn the foundations to a successful trader. Start to learn the mistakes you, you need to do, okay? Slow down. I know you're panicking right now. I know you're fearful right now. I know you really want to get ahead right now. I know you're uncertain right now. But it's all that emotional state, okay? Because I'm telling you right now is that if you're fearful right now and you can't you can't control your emotional state, don't get involved with the markets because it's going to make your problem your your situation worse, right? Whenever I've been really stressed about personal life or even stressed financially, you know, and I've been involved with the markets, it's only made it worse. Whenever I haven't had to make money from the markets and I've just done my job and being a good trader, that's what I, that's 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 when I that's when I make money. And the whole thing, the number one key to successful trading is learning how, learning how to make good decisions under pressure. Okay, so. Anyway, um, I care about you guys. I really, really do. And I'm seeing some emails that are coming in recently. And I'm seeing this whole thing about 5G and the coronavirus and this David Icke interview. And, and you know, this it's, it's everything that's happening right now. And, and, you know, man, the whole world's gone mad. And, and so, something big is happening right now. I just can't put my finger on it. I'm just so blessed that no matter what, I'll be okay. And my family will be okay because of, because of what happens, um, you know. And... And, uh, and I'm just, I'm so blessed to be there, guys. And guys, I know you guys can do so well from these markets. And, uh, you know, and my heart goes out to you guys that are struggling right now. The best thing I can do, guys, the best thing I can say is it's important to condition your mind every day. And it's these affirmations, right? I say to myself every day, you know, I'm lean, I'm mean, I'm a fighting machine. I, I'm confident, I'm strong, I'm the man, I'm fucking unstoppable. Like I say these things, like I do like probably a five-minute routine every morning to start my day, especially now. Um, just to get my mind right because there's so much negativity happening around here. There's so much stuff happening right there. But on the flip side of this, guys, there's so much amazing opportunity with the volatility and what's happening right now and what's, got to, what's going to happen next year. You know, there's so much amazing opportunity out here. There really, really is. Like if I look at, if I look at here in Australia, yes, we're, we're all feeling this. But guess what? For people here in Australia, the property market's going to boom here again. Right, we're gonna go through another big boom, and I believe, and, and 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 even if you're not here in Australia, guess what's gonna to happen to the gold mining stocks? Now, not all of them, GDX, the GDXJ, and silver and stuff like that. Now, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do and stuff like that because it may not happen. But guess, guess what's likely to happen to those things? Guess what's likely to happen? You know, if you if you if you if you were looking at your life five years from now and you're looking backwards, and you said what what were, if you're looking if you're looking at say this is 25 right 2025 and you look back and said okay what what if I look back over 2025 and I try to predict the future so I could capitalize on that what 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 is the probability of what 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 were the big trends in place GDX GDXJ silver um, and uh, you know and and and, and, and so, some of the, some some stocks obviously um, really really good trades obviously um, I see property market here in Australia. Um, you know, doing really well as well too, because um, the property market here in Australia is actually it, it went through a massive boom there for a while, but it's been quiet for three or four years. We're in a mid-turn slowdown, and we're going to go see another massive boom here again. Not now. It may take another year or more for us for this whole thing to sort out, but we're going to go through another boom. How are you positioning yourself? How are you positioning yourself to look back and say, okay, how can I take advantage of that? You know, and just be smart around the way that you're doing things, guys. So anyway, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this whole coronavirus situation and what's happening right now and this whole 5G thing, um, I have no idea, but something just doesn't feel right.